Hey everybody, this is Patrick Muldoon and I'm uh, here to bring you a sort of a review of a product I purchased recently. <clears throat> a lot of people do this, but the one I like to watch the most is The Adventures of Daniel. And because of this, I'm going to share the grand opening of my latest purchase, my new yoga mat. Now don't laugh. Yoga is extremely important. It helps you stretch, relax. When you breathe, it helps you clear your mind. And the only thing I can think better than yoga is to be doing yoga on the best yoga mat they make. So I'm here to report that I bought a Manduka, that's this guy here, yoga mat. Now, this is, uh, the first thing I notice when I buy this over my Walmart yoga mat is it is really heavy. It's it's stout. Like maybe you can't see it, but I'm like really like I'm trying to hold that. Am I my Walmart mat? Nope. I don't try. Doesn't even matter. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and open this. This is the grand reveal right now. So go ahead, let, let me let me go ahead and try this. Stay right here, guys. It's very important that we don't cut my new yoga mat. We'll uh, do a, a new reveal sometime on this Leatherman, but that's not today. It's not today. Now, I will say that this paper that they wrapped it in, it is very sturdy. So you're definitely going to need scissors. You don't want to tear it. Because it literally comes with instructions, look. So, <clears throat> the first thing I do is supposed to unroll this. Then, I'm, I'm not kidding, number two, look. I'm supposed to sprinkle it with salt. Like, salt? I don't know. And then I'm supposed to put it out for 24 hours. That's not going to happen. I got yoga in the morning. Lord knows, I'm not going to show up with yoga and not be well, my cool yoga mat. And then I'm supposed to remove the salt with a damp cloth. And then number five is practice, so I can practice on my yoga mat. And number six is repeat as needed. So I suppose maybe I consult this more frequently. <clears throat> the weird thing is, is this thing wants sea salt. So I bought sea salt right here. And the only reason I can think that you want to salt this is because if you're in crow pose... It's going to taste a lot better when you eat shit on it, okay? Just saying, you eat rubber, bad news. You eat rubber with sea salt, bad news, but I think it's still probably better. The only thing that would be better than that is maybe like chocolate, right? Like I need to season this with chocolate, then I'm going to love it. So, let's go ahead and lay this out. Supposedly, this thing is, wow, this thing is, whew, there's a lot of weight to this. Whoa! Look at this, guys. This is, this is unbelievable. My yoga mat is so cool. And I assume this is, yeah, seems to be right side up. So we're going to have to go ahead and set this. Because they said that once you do this, oh, a big, I'm sorry if I'm getting you dizzy. A big thing that I understand is when you roll this, you got to roll it so the top is out. Because see, i got a little lip here. Right there. Oh, and the other thing, I know this seems probably like, maybe it doesn't matter, but it obviously does. The other thing with this yoga mat is uh, after you salt it for taste, and then you lay it down because you got to let it rest, and then you do all this other stuff, you do not store this vertically, okay? You don't do it. You, you store it horizontally on the ground so it does not you know, get messed up. <clears throat> now, I know that this is four minutes and 30 seconds and I was trying to keep it quicker, but I just want to let you know, when you go and you buy one of these yoga mats, you're going to be shocked at the price. Like you're going to, you're going to be, I mean, <laughs> no joke. Now, the funny thing is, is when I went to Walmart for my $19 mat, right, it came with a carrier. Not this one. Nope. This one, you have to buy the carrier. And it costs more money. So you get the mat, 
this one, which is cool, right? Then you're like, how am I going to carry my mat? And you're like, oh yeah, Patrick, over here, right next to it, is this outrageously expensive Go Play by Manduka Carrier. You can't buy the cheap one because people might judge you or something. I don't even know. It didn't look as good as this one, but I'll be honest, it looked way better than what I had. But I still got suckered into this because my brother said, Oh, Patrick, if you go buy the cheap one, you're never going to be happy. I bought the good one. You just can't afford what I can afford. So then I went out and bought the good one with the good mat and my God, tomorrow's yoga. So the moral of the story is I'll let you know tomorrow if this thing works. Okay, if it's that much better. And if you're a yogi and you're watching this, do you have a Manduka yoga mat? And is it all that in a bag of chips? I hope so. Because if not, I'm going to be really pissed.